Hi, I'm Matt Hagney from Exapta Solutions. So we've installed this upper hose clamp so it's about two inches below this thumb or the prong here. And we're going to install this. We want this tensioning screw to hit right below this wire here. And sometimes uh, even without a mojo wire it, you, were, you have to get a little bit violent jamming the tail up into the bracket to make sure it goes in, clicks completely in and gets high enough in there so that this tensioning screw is below this prong and also below the wire. You hear it pop into place like that. We can look up inside there with our pen light and make sure we've gotten far enough up in there. We'll then tighten this screw down a ways and we want to make sure that the hose clamp here is clearing the back of this. So we'll run the tension screw in until there's about three quarters of an inch of thread showing. That's a good initial point before we go to the field. In the field when we're adjusting the planter we'll get everything level and the depth set and then we'll want to have where we have some difficulty pulling the Keaton tail out just grabbing it between your thumb and forefinger like that and it'll really smack down into the bottom of the furrow. So that may require a little more tension on the screw and then every day that you're planting uh, go through and check them maybe crank that screw another quarter turn, third of a turn, whatever, just make sure that you've got enough pressure on all of them and that, uh, that, that number might change a little bit as you're gradually wearing off the bottom of the tail here and also the, the bracket and this upper part of the Keaton may deform gradually over time from the pressure. 